Welcome back, everyone. The Southeast Ohio Regional Transit Authority, we call it SORTA, voted this week to put a sales tax increase on the ballot next year. It has been decades since Hamilton County voters have decided whether to increase their taxes to improve public transportation. The vote by the SORTA board was 12 to 1 in favor of reinventing Metro. It would add 0.8% to the county sales tax, raising more than $130 million a year. That extra money would pay for new crosstown routes, 24 hour service on some of the most popular routes and weekend service among other goals. That's a big deal to Jayla Smith, who relies on the bus every day and works overnight. And the buses usually start running about 11, so it's kind of hard to navigate what time you should leave and what time you should go if the buses are not running. So the increase would raise a total sales tax in Hamilton County to nearly 8%. Sorta says it faces a $60 million budget gap over 10 years if it doesn't get more money. Joining me to talk about the proposed tax hike is chairman of Sorta, Craig Cassie. Thanks so much for coming in. Let's start with this. You give me your one minute elevator speech on why Metro needs this money. Well, we're actually facing $160 million deficit over the next 10 years, not, not just 60 million. And it's it's result of a system that we've been starved for years. Starting in 2003, we had a gov federal government uh, slow down what they invested in transit systems. And so we've been kind of starved ever since. We've cut back on the service that we can provide, not getting rid of routes, but less frequency and those kind of things. And we've resulted in a system that doesn't really support the community. And as such, we're not getting the ridership that we should get or that the community deserves. And so the deficits have started. We need to, to, uh, to get the funds so we can give the, uh, the community the system that they really deserve. Okay, so we're talking about a very small percentage of people who use Metro. You would say that's because the routes don't fit them. But how do you convince I think something like 2% of Hamilton County rides Metro, something like that? It's a little bit higher than is, that. What is, yeah. what is it? Uh, I think it's closer to 10%. Is it closer to 10%? Okay, so by your estimate, 10%, that means you got 90% of voters to say, you've got to support this for 10% of the public. How do you make that work? Sure, well, I think it's not, it's not just beneficial to the 10% that ride, right? Almost all of us, even if we don't ride, we depend on people that do, right, to get them to jobs and things, to healthcare, teachers, uh, nurses, et cetera. So, so I think it's a, it's a much broader impact than just those 10%. Okay, so if I, and I may be completely wrong about this, but I heard somewhere that the last time Hamilton County approved a tax increase for Metro or, you know, a, a levy for Metro was probably during the Nixon administration. <laughs> That's right. So why do you think now is the time that's going to happen? Well, I think that we've learned over the time is that the transit is important, right? Both for attracting talent, you know, millennials, many don't want a car. They'd rather have an opportunity to live without one. Mm -hmm. We know that there are folks, as we talked about, that really rely on the system. We know that employers are looking for employees to be able to get to jobs as, as the market gets tighter. That's, that's very important. So I think that what we've seen, and this is why we have such a broad coalition that's supporting it, the Republican Party, the Democratic Party, the Charter Committee, the CBC, the Chamber, um, Human Services Chamber, have all come out in support of this, this process and this levy that we're going for, I think because folks have come to realize how important it is for the community. One of the things that might be a good selling point for you, I'm going to guess, is that there is a component of this that would be for road improvements. Mm -hmm. Give me some specifics on what a voter at home would under, like, would, maybe would be appealing to them about that. Sure. So we all, you know, uh, we have, uh, we all hit roads with potholes. We all have sidewalks that don't, that are broken and hard to walk, walk on. We know there's 38 structurally deficient bridges in Hamilton County, not to mention large projects like the Western Hills Viaduct or uh, Columbia Parkway, and so there's lots of needs in the community. In fact, there was just a study done by Stantec Engineering that said there's $2 billion of infrastructure projects needed in Hamilton County. A billion of those are on places where the buses operate, which is this what this levy could be used for. So there's there's lots of things that can help the transit system and help all the citizens of How Hamilton County. How much money would go to road improvements, road bridge so, improvements? So about 25% of the levy would go that way, roughly $30 million a year. And so could you say, for example, we want this to be for the Western Hills Viaduct, it's extremely deficient, it's got to get done? So the way that it works is it'll run through what's called the Public Works Integrating Committee of Hanover County, which is the, the group that approves projects with ODOT funding. And so they have a scoring system that we would add to that system for these projects, things that impact transit. So uh, we can come up with, with proposed projects and they would have to approve them, but that would certainly be the kind of project that would get a lot of support. Okay, so Metro has routes from Butler, from Warren, from Claremont counties, but the sales tax won't be on the ballot for those voters to decide. Um, how, how do you... How do you have them help contribute to the, or how do those counties contribute to Metro's bottom line? 
Well, about half the, sale, half the sales tax in Hamilton County is paid for by people that don't live in Hamilton County, right? It's a destination county for all the reasons that we would know, entertainment, work, et cetera. So it's certainly, you know, funding will come from there, but also, you know, many of those folks live and work uh, or you know, spend their lives downtown. Those right, kind they of play things. down here. Yeah, they right. do. So, um, so they contribute. Also, um, because of the way the systems work together, we do get some funding from them. Okay, do we know what's the next step in this process? Is this going to be on the March ballot, the November ballot? What's next? Right, so what's next is in November this year in the city, there'll be the, um, the charter amendment that sets up the repeal of the earnings tax that's set aside for transit, point three of the 2.1 that people pay today. That would be repealed contingent upon us passing a broader sales tax in Hamilton County, which will be either in March or November. We'll come to conclusion on that in November, um, which timing that would go for. Craig Cassie, I thank you so much for coming in. I think that we're going to be talking about this a lot over the next several months. Well, I hope so. It's a critical need for the community. All right. We appreciate your time. Thank you. By the way, we did ask one of the leading anti-tax groups about, in this area about the proposed sales tax hike. Coast, which is the coalition opposed to additional taxes and spending, says it has, quote, not taken a formal position on this issue.